Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two of the races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later. Mount Ebot 21X Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And so we see our protagonist finding a hole in the ground. And as their natural curiosity peaked, they walked over, tripped, and seemingly fell into the hole. Down and down they go, until they hit a bed of flowers. And this is where Undertale begins. I've never played this game before, I've played the first 10 minutes. I tell a lie, but I know nothing of the game besides a playthrough I watched eight years ago. But this game's very dear to my heart, and I figured out to give it an actual go. Let's begin the game. We will call ourselves Stubbs. S T U B B C. Done. Is your name correct? Yes, it is. I only remember some of the characters. I don't remember all. But I don't even remember what this character's name is. <laughs> so if you know, you know, just let me know too. Because I am wholly bad when it comes down to the lore of Undertale. But anyway. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Are you ready? Here we go. You see that heart? That is your soul. The very accumulation of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, it's love of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry. I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, catch as many as you can. Oh. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh. Die! Well, I, I'm sorry, I just... Aha! And my health is back. Goodbye! What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a very long time. Come. I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Thank you. Thank you, Toriel. Thank you very much. The shadow of the ruins loom above, filling you with determination. HP has been fully restored and safe. Welcome to your home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed, brave one. Foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. Press X to read signs. Oh. Stay on the path. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm sorry. 
The first switch is over on the wall. This one? Nope. I guess press it. Go on, press the switch on the left. This one. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labelled it for you. So, this one. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labelled it for you. Okay. This one. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Well, at least someone is. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time and I will come to resolve the conflict. Why don't you practice talking with the dummy? Uh, you've encountered the dummy. Mercy. Dummy stands around, absent-mindedly. Okay. Check. Dummy. Attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Oops, sorry. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. But Toriel seems happy with you. You've won. You earn no XP and no gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Damn, two compliments in two minutes. This is the best person ever. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh, oh, I'm catching up, catching up. Never mind. Let's check the frog. He has four attack, five defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh. Oh. Bye. I earned zero gold and zero XP. And the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. What do we do? This is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Yay. Look at me go. I'm so good at solving puzzles. There we are. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. No, oh, I, ca I can't even go on the wrong one if I wanted to. You have done excellently thus far, my child. Three compliments? This is the best person ever. I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Wait, no! Come back! Why do we have such intense music for a walk? Come back! Please! Where'd you go? You were giving out compliments like candy. I need them more. I thrive on attention. Please come back. God, this is a long hallway. Ah, there you are. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have need of anything, just call. Be good, alright? So let me see. We have no attack, no defense, no XP. Uh, we have a stick, and our armor is a bandage. Let's say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello? I hope lots of vices. He. Click. Let's try that again. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Should we float with her first before we call her mum? Let's try it. Oh, huh? Oh, <laughs> how adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. 
If the internet has anything to say, probably not. Call her mum. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mum? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. We just flirted with the goat mum and immediately started calling her mommy. We have some dark tendencies it seems. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Yes. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Oh, he's just going to say the same thing again. Oh, I can press circle to um, skip dialogue. It says, take one. Will you take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. Press triangle to open the menu. Info. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non licorice flavour. What do you mean, non licorice? Like, that could mean anything. Strawberry? Apple? Kiwi, even? Well, let's save it. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Your HP is fully restored. Well, let's save. We'll keep going for now. Oh! Wimsom has approached you meekly. Uh, terrorize. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimson freaks out. I can't handle this. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's check you out. You have 5 attack and 0 defense. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I have no choice. Aww. Its attacks don't even attack me. Let me console you. I feel sorry, little guy. Halfway through your first word. Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Sorry. Kind of terrorised that little guy. Well, onward we go. Um, left. Okay then, maybe not left. Let's go right. Way. Oh, you're back. Let me console you again. Halfway through your first word, they burst into tears and run away. You won! You earn no XP and no gold. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, what do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Well, if my teens are anything to go by, the cinnamon challenge was absolutely disgusting, but butterscotch is what usually old people have, so I'm going to say butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Oh, wow, immediately. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? I mean, I wouldn't, but, you know, I'm not exactly going to be fond of it. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Oh, I can use a D-pad. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Go, little guy. Oh, you're back again. Let me console you. You burst into tears and you run away. Goodbye, little guy. Thank you, rock. Well, that's rock number one. Let's keep going. Um, middle. Not middle. Okay, this looks like the room layout, so... Let me see. All, all the way to the end? Yes. And if this is one block, two, three, four, five, I can go... If I hit the wall, I can go two across. One, two, three, four up. One, two, three across. 
and then one, two, three, four down, and then just straight across to the end. Okay, so that's two across. Oh, you're yellow. Spare. Bye bye. So that's three across, all the way up, and then one, two, three across again. Yeah, I can just follow where the sign marker is for going up. Okay, so straight across, down, one, two, three, and then I can follow the sign. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? No. No, I did not. Let me see what you are. You have like six attack, zero defense, stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Sexy wiggle. Oh. You can't be tempting me like this, random thing. Ow! The Roma of Lime Gelatin and Boss Room. I'm gonna spare you. Lime's not even my favourite type of gelatin, so no. Okay, three more rocks. So if we go by that sign. Oh, pardon me. If we go by that sign. One, two. Compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Meow. Um. Oh, God. Spare. Meow. Frog, why are you meowing? Oh, I am really bad at this. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. Let me compliment you too. He didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Ribbit. No, I'm gonna hide in the corner. You won! You won 0 XP and 4 gold. I'm actually getting. Wait, am I actually getting money now? I. Oh no, no, it's at the bottom. We have 6. Okay, so 1. That'll make rock number 2. That'll make rock number 3. So. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Um, could you move a little more, please? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, can you move more, please? Like, down and to the right? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Thank... Thank you. Was that helpful? Yes, it was very helpful. You son of a... Excuse me. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Well, aren't things easier when you just ask? Thank you. Oh. Oh, it's the lime gelatin again. I'm just going to spare you. You hurt me last time. Oh. <laughs> what about the cheese? Can I give it to you? This cheese has been there for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Sorry, little guy. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. Save. Yep, we left off here with the little mouse trying to get the cheese. Filled us with determination that he might one day get it. But if you remember, the cheese has been quite here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. So off we go. Oh, hello. Z Z Z Z Z. Are they gone yet? Z Z Z Z Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force? No. Oh, I guess I kinda have to. Z Z Z Z Z. Are they gone yet? Move it with force. Yes. Oh. One minute. It's kind of funky. Let's check first. Napster block. Attack 10. Defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh, this is really funky. Let's try and cheer him up. He gave Napstabok a patient smile. Hey. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. That's fair. Uh, let's try and cheer him up again. We told him a little joke. Hey. <laughs> Oh! Oh! It's like playing the opposite of Snake. And I got hit. Cheering seems to have improved his mood again. Let's do it again then. Let's keep going. He wants to show you something. Let me try. Okay. I call it Dapper Block. How do you like it? Let's cheer him up again. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Um, thank you. Bye. What's this way? Okay, what's this way? Oh. Spider bake sale. Our proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web? I have six. What's this? Leave 18G in the web. So I need, let me see, 18, 25G. How do I get 25G? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spider. Wait, what? Of spiders? Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing circle. That's right, pressing circle. Oh, not you too. Okay, let me try and do that without pressing circle. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing circle. That's right, pressing circle. Well, at least you listen to me. Oh, there we go, better dialogue. Good for you, Rabbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog themed border, so it's just pointless. Ribbit. I will do that next time. Oh, here we go. So if I remember correctly, you can mercy that one straight away. Mm cha cha cha. Oh. Oh, look at him getting funky. Let's check him out. He's got 7 attack, 5 defense. It seems evil. But it's just with the wrong crowd. La la, just be yourself. Oh, be funky. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to attack you either. I earned two gold. Okay, we've got enough for the first one. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now, monsters wear a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? That's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember. Sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Well first I'm going to go back and get a spider thing. I wonder if it works like Pokemon, like you can just wiggle about and get a um... Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, thank you. And I got the trophy for like getting items. Let me see, I wonder if I just... Try and treat it like a Pokemon game. If I go back and forth. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Mm, oh! Well, no, that doesn't help. Let's spare you. Um, cha cha cha. I like this guy. Doof, 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 doof. And we'll spare you as well. There's another two gold. Just 15 more to go. Hello? I just realised that it's been quite a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave your room in your pockets for that. Click. What's this? There is just one switch. Okay, but... Oh, never mind. Oh, hello. Uh, let's check you out. Don't pick on him, family name Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. Oh. Oh. Ow, 
Jesus. Okay, let's not pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. Oh. Can I miss you? Hey, there we go. Five gold? Wait, how much gold do we have now? Eight. So we just need ten more. Oh look, that's Napster Block. I'm gonna go see him. Down we go. Hey buddy! I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Bye then. Oh, I saw that in the top left. Let's spare you. Nothing like a long time. Buff, 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 buff. I like this funky little rabbit. That means we're on 10 gold now. We just need... Was it 15? I think it was 15. Yeah, because it was 15... No, it was 7 for 1. Thingy for the other. Oh, hello. Let's check you out. Vegetoid. Serving size, one monster. Not, men not monitored by the USDA. Part of a complete breakfast. Why would you say that about yourself? Oh, oh. Can I mercy you? No. Uh, let's talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to devour you. He gave you a mysterious smile. Nope. Let's talk again. Oh. Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay, at Vegetoid dinner. You pat your stomach. He offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Uh, oh. Oh. You gave him a serious smile. Hey, there we go. And that's four gold for me. And now if I saw correctly, there's another one of you little guys at the top left. But first, I want to check what's down here. Ooh. Well, another random encounter. Let's not pick on you. Finally someone gets it. Ow. And mercy. There we go. What's this? You found a faded ribbon. Or getting more items. Well, let me see. Faded women. Info. Armor defense free. If you're cute, monsters won't hit as hard. Can I put that on then? Use. You equipped the ribbon. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Well, at least I've got a way to heal health now, I guess. If need be. Uh, dinner. He offers you a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Okay, let's grab that. That's what, one HP? And now we can Mercer. Yes! Right, before we press that switch, I'm going to go all the way back. I'm going to get me that second spider item. These trophies are kind of easy to grab as well. Like, I know we've only just started the game, but I've grabbed quite a few. Put 18G in the web. Oh, it was 18, not 15. Some spiders crop. Oh, there we go. Another trophy again. They came out and gave me a jug. Oh, can we check what that is? Spider cider. Heals 24 HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Ew. <laughs> well, I will leave that for now. Whew. I could just mercy these two. Ooh, cha -cha -cha. And again. Very nice, very nice. And now we go to the middle block here. Been getting all the items. Now we go up. And we can leave. After this fight, we can leave. Spare you. Ooh, cha -cha -cha. Might as well dance with him. Using the uh, the D-pad's definitely a lot easier than the normal um, PS5 controller. Oh, I don't want to touch anything yet. 
The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay, so you got green guy, blue guy left, green guy right, red door, red guy right. So, you were on the right. Well, that didn't help. What's supposed to do? Find the correct guy. If you can read this, press the blue switch. The what? Oh god. Hide up here. I got my eye on you. Down, down, up. Okay, I think I might have to use that bandage a bit sooner than possible. And spare you too. There we go, 10 gold. So... Oh, it's a switch! If this is anything like Pokemon, there's another one right next to it. <laughs> Where is it? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Dinner. A healthy meal. Eat your vitamins and eat your greens. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, item. Bandage. Still kind of gooey. Look at 10 HP. Nope, nope, oh god. Now, I do remember that there is a pacifist one of this game, that's why I'm trying not to fight. However, I don't remember much about this game, so even though it is a pacifist one, everything is kind of brand new to me. If you can read this, press the green switch. Is it behind her? Nope, it's not behind her. Alright, across we go. Speed run! So that means that the green switch must be here. Yes! Good mate. Yeah, I've got monster candy, spider donut and spider cider. Okay. And I've already got all my money back too. Um, nice. There's one done. I wonder if there's an easier way, like I can just get them both to be mercied and then just double mercy. I might actually try that next time. See if it actually um mercies the pair of them. Oh. Where am I now? Oh. Kinda wanna go this way. Hey frog! Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We were all too intimidated to talk to her a bit. Oh! You found a toy knife! I mean... You equipped the toy knife. I mean, I don't really need a toy knife since I'm going for the pacifist route. So... Oh dear! That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A little bit. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Um. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Wait for me, mom. First. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. 
Let's save. Okay, I think we will try and go to the next checkpoint and then I'll save it there. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Thank you. <laughs> here, I have a surprise for you. I'm going this way. Anything in there? It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind a barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Wow. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. I, I can see that. <laughs> Your home, which is home. What a nice smell. It's too hot to eat, though. The stove top is very clean, so we almost use fire magic instead. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I mean, cold chocolate's quite nice. Let's have a look here. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Oh. That seems like progression, so I'm just going to leave that. Let's go see Mum. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's patting my head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh. Room under renovations. It's you! Now, that phrase, way, 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 way later in the game, will actually... I'll reveal it later. Inside the drawers are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Just a regular old bucket. Of snails. It's Toriel's diary. Shall we read the circled passage? Yes. <laughs> you read the passage. Wait a second. Because she was being bone. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar calibre. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more commonly as <coughs> water sausage. Fair enough. Now let's go check out our room. We have cool toys. Well, they're not really cool if they don't interest me. We have an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh. Why can't I? Oh. Aw. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Well, that's very kind of her. Toriel, where are you? Oh, there you are. Are you up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Wow, well, she is on top of this. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an, exi an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah, it... Sure. <laughs> sure, it is. Well, 
bother me if you need anything else. Okay. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Here you are. Did you go back to your room? I mean, it's kind of obvious where she went, but we might as well check the room just in case. Oh, look at that. She's not here. Well, you know where we're going. To the progression place. Down we go. Away we go. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. I want to go home. No, no, no. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, play. Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. I want to go out. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh. So we all blocks the way. Let's check. She has 80 attack and 80 defense, and she knows what's best for me. Oh god. Ow. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Toriel is acting aloof. Talk again. You try to think of something to say again, but... Oh, this music's fantastic. Oh, I am so bad with bullet hells. Toriel looks through you. Try talking again. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the so uh, solution to this situation. Oh! The, what was it? The, the frog. Sometimes you can mercy even without doing anything. Okay. Let me try that then. If I don't die. Spare. Oh. Oh. Spare. I think this might be my first death. Spare. Wait, is she? She's not attacking me anymore. Toriel looks for you. Spare. Yeah, she's refu- Look, if I go near the attacks, they move. She's refusing to attack. Spare. What are you doing? I'm doing the same as you. I do not want to harm you. Just as you don't want to harm me. Spare. Attack or run away. But you don't want to attack me just as I don't want to attack you. Spare. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I don't want to fight you. Spare. Fight me or leave. No, because look, even if I try to go after your things, you move them. Spare. Stop it. Oh, look at her face as well. She's looking away. Like, she stares right at you, if you look at her eyes. And the second you click spare, she looks away. Because she does not want to attack you at all. She knows what she's doing. Which is upsetting. Spare. Go away. This is definitely one of the weirder boss fights. Spare. If I just wait up here. <laughs> okay, let me try and flee then. I escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. Oh. Already? What would it take for you to learn your lesson? Okay. I guess I did it wrong. 
Right, let's just bottom mash this one now. Yep, we're just we're just gonna bottom mash through this. I don't know if there'll be any different dialogue, so I'll just keep tapping. Anyway, so what about any of you? Have any of you played this game, watched the game, made fan art of the game? If you have, just let me know down below. I love talking to people, or at least trying to talk to people. That's actually why I'm trying to do Let's Plays, to improve my speech. And what better way to try and improve talking to people than a game where I have to be the voice? Attack or run away? No. So yeah, as I was saying, if you have any fan art, if you've played the game, if you've watched playthroughs of the game, just down below, let me know. I'll be more than happy to say hi. What are you proving? I am not proving anything. I'm going up. She prepares a magical attack. Fight me or leave. No. <laughs> we're roughly where we were last time now. Stop it. Yep, we're basically back where we were. But, um... I figured this was a good thing to choose as my first, let's say, official Let's Play. Stop looking at me that way. Because I know how many people have this near and dear to their heart, and well, even though it's eight years later, I've been seeing a lot of content of this recently on TikTok, and it got me really in the mood to play it. And as by fate, it went immediately on sale, because I had it on my wish list. And it's like, well, can't really, you know, can't not play it at that point. I'm not going to attack you. I just realised how bad the Z looks for my name. I know you want to go home. Oh, we did it. But... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please, do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. Goodbye, my child. Wait. Wait. I want to leave, but I still want to say goodbye. Granted, I am kind of mute, but I still want to say goodbye. Where is she? Oh, it's kind of heartfelt, that. So she's not on a seat. Is she in the kitchen? No. Oh, they took a slice of pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Fair enough. I think she's gone, gone. Like, even if I try searching the ruins, I'm not going to find her. Not even in a room. Can I go in this one? Nope. Yeah, she's gone. Like, she genuinely left. Well, that's upsetting. The first quote-unquote boss fight, we, um... We had had to be, you know, 
or this type of emotional. I guess it's um, it's definitely setting up the tone of this game if you don't have to fight at all. And, well, even that one then. Just, she refused to attack me when I kept sparing. And then even though she really wanted us to say so another child doesn't die, she couldn't help but let us go. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? No, I'm dumb as hell. In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you beat a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Nice face. I'm just... Oh, never mind. I was, I was going to leave, but he beat me to it. See you, Flowey. Again. Undertale. Oh, we got the title screen, look. It did it. By Toby Fox. This man has single-handedly made some of the best music I've heard. Like, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. He is the composer of the Terror Raids. And it's one of the only... I guess Pokemon songs, especially in the ones that I've played, that is joyful when you're in a battle instead of, you know, the intense feeling of battling. It's more of, well, I guess in the words of this, it fills you with determination. Oh. Where are we off to now? Hey, I saw that. Who are you? I wonder if I can catch him out. If I go slow. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, never mind, I can't move. Human. Don't you know how to greet? A new pal. Turn around and shake my hand. Won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? Yes. <laughs> the odd whoopee cushion in the hand check. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Well, that was easy. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Okay, first I'm just going to jam out to this. Dun 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 bum 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 dun 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 bum 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 dun 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 You just a hang around outside your station What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp It's really cool Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that 
I like him stomping his little feet. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. That's more than friends, my guy. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. <laughs> Take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Oh my god. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ha 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 Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Exodus. The trophy. What a conveniently shaped lump. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I'm just gonna... How did I fit... Wait, how did I fit behind this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favour? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Um, you went backwards, Sans. What about these rocks? Ooh, this music's nice too. Oh, perfect. Wait, first. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box. Lover. Use the box? Yes. I'll put my stick... And you three. Oh. Oh God. Um. Flee. No. 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 The checkpoint's right there. Please. Flee. Oh. <laughs> The convenience of the lamp still fills you with determination. Save. 